Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the NC Educational Lottery 200 here after a race at Darlington. Uh, Bobby Fraser won. Lucas Tran closed in. He took the points lead over Drew Schultz. Points all closed in. Top 10 now separated by 40 points. Lucas Tran starts on pole next to the Daytona winner, Dunn LaPrad. Then we have Jesse Turner and then the 29 car, Max Newworth, John Arndt. Mitchell Millen, the 54 car of San Bessler, Dejon Weeks, the 45 car of Matt Johnson, the 4 Giovanni Drill, the 3 car of Giovanni Drill, the 4, the 3 car of Morgan Gimpler and Randy Scott in the 13. That is everyone we're going to look through your field. Uh, Drew Soltz starting somewhat in the back. Bobby Fraser in the field starting in the back. Short race here. Gentlemen, start your engines. There was the command short race here, like I was saying, only 17 laps, so you got to make something happen quick here. Uh, we're going ready, go, go. These cars are going to start rolling off, and we will be right back as soon as they start rolling off. We'll be right back. We're coming. They're coming off turn four. We've been here before in the Cup Series two times before, and, it's, and one time it was Philip Goldberg, as you see him into the screen in 31. Reem Chevy, he's won here one time before. Can he get another one at Charlotte Motor Speedway? Or will it be someone, one of these drivers who's never seen it? Green flag is out here at Charlotte. It was a 91 car. Who did lead lap one? But Jesse Turner in the 30 car is on his way. John Arndt in the 21 now says, never mind, let me take the lead. And the 91's way up against the wall. Randy Scott's against the wall in the back too. Randy, a two-time winner. And here comes San Bessler in the 54. Three wide for the race lead here at Charlotte. Not going to come good. Off turn four this way. We see a lot of wrecks. Jesse Turner in the wall. There he goes. He... I think they're going to save it, but the 91 car is going to lose a bunch of positions. Only two points ahead of Drew Swords. Now Lucas Tran on the outside losing a bunch of positions. That ends up giving the Sam Bessel the lead. But Matt Johnson, a two-time winner, said, never mind. Let me get the lead. Here he comes on the inside. And Sam, oh no, I thought Sam was going to clear him. Never mind. Here he comes, but Morgan can put him the three as well. The 91 car has fallen all the way back now. To 20th place, not where he wants to be, racing for a championship, and looks like your top five have pulled away, it's Morgan Gampler up front, Dunn LaProd on the inside, your Daytona winner, Matt Johnson on the outside, he's going to get turned in the middle of the pack, oh, John Arn involved, oh, we got a car up and over, Ryder Smith it looks like, and the 91 car was involved, Lucas Tran looks like it uh, doesn't look like he has too much damage, but I do think he was involved. And then Philip Goldberg gets dumped in turn two. Caution's out. We're gonna go check it out as we get the field settled out. We'll be right back. Matt Johnson is three wide in the wall. Gets turned around in the middle of the pack. John Arndt. Oh, Ryder Smith kind of flies through the air. It looks like. Mitchell Millen, a driver who was involved. You see John Arndt goes up to try to avoid it. And he goes with Garrett Sidnor, it looks like. Let's look at Ryder Smith in the 98 car. Not sure exactly how he's spinning. And then he gets tapped. Oh, wow. He gets tapped from that 54, 52 car of Dejon Weeks. Joshua Jones involved as well. Nathan Nilsson, Dana Men. All these drivers. The 51, I saw Edwin Mendez involved. Edwin having a horrible season. Let's see how he gets involved. Uh, he's going to clip the back of Riley Smith. Paige Newworth. Um, Drew Soltz, I think, made it through. 
in the 22 car. Not sure if he got any damage. Actually, for sure he did not, but the 91 car, I believe, is going to end up getting a little damage on his car. Not what Lucas Chan wanted after he finally took the points lead. He's been chasing Drew. Oh, he gets kind of... So not too bad. He's kind of just... Oh, and then runs in the back once again. So he kind of gets hit in the front and back. But then we saw Philip Goldberg get dumped in this turn. Looks like David Keffer just... Oh, not sure what happened there, actually. David Keffer just... Looks like Philip goes to talk to David, and David just turns right him into the wall, and they both spin out. Not exactly sure what's going on with Philip and David Keffer, but David really should not be doing that, as he... Philip does not want to be getting a penalty um, that could cost him something in the Cup Series. It must have been something earlier on, because they were not near the racetrack at this time together. So Philip, not 100% sure what happened there, but... We'll see how this plays off. Both of them now will be kind of settled back in the pack, so we'll be right back live with your field. We're on the back stretch. We just got the one to go signal. No pit stops yet for these front runners. The five car pays New Earth has retired John Arndt, Giovanni Drill, Ryder Smith, Dejon Weeks, uh, Nick Purcells, Robert Furgis, and Riley Smith all retired. Uh, big story, the 91 car has to take off his hood and back bumper. That's your points leader. Hopefully he can just ride around and try to get some more points. We're going to be starting with about 10 to go, I think. Uh, maybe a little less than 10 to go. Uh, maybe 9 to go. Morgan Gimpler out front. Morgan comes in here 5th in points, 30 points back. Drew Schultz running ninth inside the top 10. Can Drew Schultz get to the front and maybe get his first career win? Here we go. Oh, looks like Morgan spins the tires down the pride on the outside. Drew, looks like Drew went three wide for a second. He's getting some positions real fast. David Keffer and Philip Goldberg did get to keep their spot on the racetrack. Um, they... I'm not sure they settled it out, but we'll be watching the 88 and 31 for sure. Phillips won here before, though, so no worries for him. He won in a cup car, though. Eight laps to go now at Charlotte. We got a lot of slow traffic back here, but it looks like Lucas Tran can actually pass a few cars. Looks like he's running a bit faster than a few of these cars back here, so hopefully he can gain some positions. And here comes the 29 of Max Newworth, the 29 car. He's got help from the 33, 54. And oh, it looks like we were about to go three wide for a second. John Racer on the inside trying to make up some positions. Here comes John Racer now on the inside of Max Newworth. Sam Bessler in the 54 as well. And look at this three wide. Philip Goldberg falling back. Oh, the 88 David Keffer got on the wall. So did Dunlop Pride. Hair Joe Ron Alonzo up here in the 94. He's also in the chase. Uh, for the Cup Series, racing this race here, flew in from Kansas. John Racer out front, but here comes the 54 car. Both of them with Camping World on the hood. I believe that's Camping World on that second car. That's just good. It is Camping World, I believe. So Camping World doing very good right here with uh, its two drivers. The two different teams, though, out front. So... But look who's marched his way up here out of nowhere. Drew Soltz is up to third, guys. Can Drew get around the front two and maybe get his first career win? Lucas Tran is kind of stalled out now. He is running in the 21st position with Drew running third. Not what he wanted for points here. And here's Zednik Price in the 77. Zednik Price now, guys. Cam's in here. Third, third, 21 points behind Drew Soltz, 23 behind Lucas Tran. Zednik is trying to look for to get his first career win and here he comes going for third under Drew Soltz and now going for second and now look at him going for the race lead under Sam Bessler can he get it done in one turn he almost passed three cars but he's about to pass another car he's got to pass her Sam Bessler now I'm not sure if Sam will come down nope that's gonna allow Zednik Price and Drew Soltz I think is gonna follow him through Hasn't cleared him yet, but he's side by side. The inside's strong here on one and two. We're down to just three laps to go here. Zednik Price to the race lead. Drew Soltz. Drew moves Zednik out the way. Here comes Drew Soltz to the race lead. He's never won a race, but he lost the points lead last week, and he's trying to get the points lead back. 
trying to make a statement for the rest of these drivers saying, hey, I lost a points lead, but I can still get it. And look at Zendik run just a bit higher. Not sure if he'll have a good run off the turn. Two laps to go here at Charlotte this time by. Colin Lindsay in the seven car. Almost won at Talladega. Barely lost by a hair. He has a big points lead in the Blockbuster Racing Series. And look at him go three wide for a second with one of his good friends, Zednik Price on the outside. Zednik in the wall. And Drew Soltz is pulling away. Coming to the white flag soon. Can anyone catch Drew Soltz? You have, um, my bad. Colin Lindsay up here now. And Bobby Fraser, last week's winner. White flag's out for Drew Soltz. Can he get his first career Tr Taco Bell Truck Series win? Oh, we got a wreck in the back. I think they're going to race it back, though. It was after the leader took the white flag. We'll check out the rake later. Here comes Colin Lindsay in the seven. He's on the inside of Drew Soltz. Can Colin Lindsay get his first career win in the truck series? Moving up to cup next season. He has a cup team of his own. Here he comes. Colin Lindsay. Oh, Drew gets turned at the end. And Colin Lindsay wins it at Charlotte. What an exciting finish here. We had a caution. We're going to go check out that wreck, by the way. I believe that's going to help the 91 car. He moves up to 21st. Didn't really help him. My bad. But Colin Lindsay picks up his first career win after he lost barely at Talladega. We are going to wait till this says complete. Export it. Then we're going to go check out the wreck real quick. Colin Lindsay's first career win. Drew Soltz finishes second through the grass. Let's go ahead and export this. This is Taco Bell Truck Series Race 11. Just a few races to go here in this series as well. Colin Lindsay, Drew Soltz second, Sam Bessler, John Racer, and Bobby Frazier. Your top five. Zednik Price falls back to six. Morgan Gimpler, Max Newworth, John LaPride. Our bottom lines are your top ten. Uh, big names. Lucas Tran will finish 20th. So we're going to go check out that wreck, guys. Um, sorry to hear about Lucas Tran. Congratulations to the seven car of Colin Lindsay. Not sure where he came from at the end. He came... It was kind of like he came out of nowhere. And with that, actually, we're not going to show the points real quick. With that, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just go over this stuff. Drew Soltz reclaims the points lead. Zenik Price loses a point, 24 points back now. Lucas Tran falls back, 13 points behind Drew Soltz. So still, he still can make it in there. Morgan Gimpler, Max Newworth tied for fourth, 31 points back, and then Randy Scott, 44 points back in, in the 13 car. Colin Lindsay moves up to 21st with his first career win, and that's I think that he won at Kansas in the Blockbuster Racing Series. That was his last time he got a win, and that was a couple days ago, actually. So Colin Lindsay on a roll now. Can, I wonder if he can bring that on. Late stages here, hopefully that can transfer on to a good ending in both these series and as well as a good uh, start to uh, the Cup Series next season as he'll be moving up. I think he's driving the, not sure if he's driving the 2 or the 3 car, but he will be in that series, so we will see him then. So thank you guys for watching. We're going to go check out the wreck at the end, see who are involved, and uh, watch that finish one more time.